Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's strong. Uh, usually I'm gonna use white charcoal. As you can see here, I got the synthetic br brush, soft brush, round soft brush, charcoal pencils, pastel stick, and a needed eraser. I stick this to a brush okay, just to draw from the distance and don't block my uh, um, view of the drawing. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're gonna start just with white charcoal and it's gonna be left, right. I'm gonna place the whole head here. I'm squinting down and trying to see just just values. Okay. Everything darker here, here. Then obviously the photograph is to my left, the same way that you see it on the screen, which makes it easy for me to just compare and if I have a doubt about something I can use a brush and I check out the light mint okay at the same time remember oh I got a question Manish is that willow yeah to be honest we have here just one type of charcoal I used to call it vine but sometimes willow and vine and for what I heard vine and willow just looks the same it was pretty close the thing is, is the thing is that this is pretty soft hello Michael hello hola John Freddy hello Shif Kumar okay. I'm working first on just darker values. The photograph doesn't have too much contrast, but enough, you know, to, to see light and shadows. Another thing that I check out always are proportions. You know, from the distance from the eyebrows to the nose and from the nose to the chin. Okay, I try to visually measure if, uh, I mean, uh, one thing that I used to do when I was a student, they say the first thing that I learned when I was a student, just pick up my pencil and measure doing this of the model, okay? Hello Moody, thank you. Yep. Uh, and nowadays there are more ways to measure. For example, a lot of people use a proportional divider, which I think is a pretty nice tool. Hmm. Oh Michael is asking me, do you ever take your glasses off to look at the image? Oh that's a good idea, you know because I see everything blurry when I take my glasses off <laughs> eh. yeah, I do, I, I, yeah, I don't do that usually, I don't do that, but yeah, it's a good idea maybe I do that because I gotta you know, kind of, it's just easier to squint and go back to, to and stop squinting instead of just taking off my glasses and putting on again Oh, just call me Mo. Okay. Mu Mo. Mo Mo, sorry. Hello, Petra. Hello, Nikki. Uh, 
I was watching, you know, my daughter, she was watching the, the office. And I, I was there, you know, in the, the history on the, in the TV. And I saw a, a few episodes. I like it and I thought, hey, you know, that's pretty funny. I'm going to draw a few of them. One thing that we gotta be sure is basically to shade basically the whole face. It's just like the only white of the paper that's gonna be just highlights. In this case, I think it's gonna be just the highlight on the tip of the nose and the highlight on here on the forehead and the globella on top of the globella. It's easy to compare now. Check check out the the. The shirt is, you know, it's white, and we can see we compare the white here in the photograph. We could see clearly that almost there's not any white on on the face. We gotta pay attention to that because it's pretty common when we draw. Sometimes, uh, especially beginners, we don't shade enough. It's just like we stop. I have a really scared. It's like we need to shade from all. We need to have basically all the values on the face. Yeah, and when we are beginners, we kind of stop here. Let's see, or here, or we jump from this value to the darker one. Is keeping a lot of darker values, those are the ones that create volume on the face. Oh, I got a question here. Okay, are you using a brush to blend? Yeah, Muri. Hello, Manish. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, use uh, soft round brushes. After getting, uh, after working with charcoal, I'm gonna start working with pastel, and then I'm gonna use my fingers to continue blending. First, you know, I gotta, I gotta have an idea uh, about values more than anything. You know, it's not about details now, just about values. That's why I'm drawing and I'm squinting and I'm squinting a lot. Because I just comparing darker values. Usually, when I got all the darker values, usually I see the face and I see the likeness, a little bit of the likeness, and then I'm more confident to start working on details. And at the same time, it's not like we need to work on details all the time. Or well, somebody's asking me, what about the paper? Oh, this is just a sketchbook, 160 grams sketchbook. And if you touch the paper, it feels just like serious paper, but obviously thicker. Yeah, but it's not like nothing special about, about it. Yeah, I keep mentioning that this is the sketchbook. This is the type of sketchbook I, I used to buy for my kids for school. It's pretty cheap. But it's pretty nice. For me, it works pretty good. And since it works pretty good, I keep using it. I keep using it all the time. His face has a lot of volume here, especially on the cheeks. Yeah. It looks like it's a little bit wider here. 
need to get the volume here and here yeah she has thick eyebrows this portion and then they thin down here looks like triangles yeah? triangle here and a triangle here Hola Carolina, gracias. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see, I'm just trying to see the shape of the globella. This really looks like a triangle here. The distance between the eyes. Um, Oh no, looks like I can fit just one eye between his eyes, or maybe it's a little bit like narrower. I'm not so sure yet. Okay, one more thing that I try to check out is angles, for example, from here to here, and alignments from the corner of the mouth up. The corner of the mouth here up and obviously always comparing with the photograph Everything's getting a little bit darker. Okay. I, I bought a box of these charcoals. Both of these <coughs> come in the same box. They came in the same box. And this one is pretty soft and this one is not. I don't know why. I know you can see it. I gotta pressure a little bit more. And this one really pressure I press really lightly. But that's, I mean, think, uh, thinking that this is just uh, some branches that were burned, yeah, that's natural that we don't have the same always. Yeah? It's not the same quality always. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking, checking. Well, I'm gonna make my drawing a little bit bigger.
Okay. Uh, I think the nose is a little bit longer. My my drawing. I have to use, you know, shrink it a little bit, make it a little bit shorter, or maybe it's just that I need to add more mending board. Yeah. But what I got here is, I think it's good. I need just to darken up more values. For example, here. Yeah. Okay. Feel free to ask me any question. Chunk of pens, ah, the pastel. Let's see. Uh, the darkest dark that I see is the hair, eyebrows, eyes, nostrils, eh, eh, the shadow here. I think I'm gonna make this shadow a little bit darker. Maybe we can make it even black and you know, have the highlight here, the reflected light. Sorry, here I can have this reflected light almost white. It's not white, you know, the only white, or the only uh, lightest light, highlight that we s I see is the tip of the nose, and here, yeah? But I think that's going to add more volume if I make this lighter. Okay, let's see. of the oil from my fingers start working with my hands oh Nick is asking me uh, oh Petra said the charcoal seems to allow an intuitive way of work yeah 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 we could say that yeah yeah Nick is asking me if I if I ha uh, have used colored pencils yeah, a couple of times Okay, a couple of times in YouTube, yeah, that was in my Spanish channel, yeah, and obviously more and more on when I, uh, you know, it's, it's like when we start drawing when we are teenagers, yeah, usually the material that is just easy to, to use, even though my mom was a painter and I could, I could have a lot of oil paints and all of that you know uh, even that was easy for me to just to always use pencils and watercolor and my first approach like to drawing my own things you know copy what I like that was with watercolor because that was pretty cheap you could get to any any place it comes in a little box around it with just with one brush and I remember the brush that was really awful <laughs> yeah but anyway and everything was at that time for me about pencils color pencils and watercolor
Okay, I'm gonna make the hair a little bit darker. Darken up the eyebrows. Nice squinting, stepping back. His nose is pretty rounded here. Okay. No, I'm still thinking about values. Hello, Leila. If you got uh, pretty close with values to the likeness, the rest I would say that's gonna be easier. That you don't think that you need details to get the likeness. Sometimes I have seen so many portraits, pretty good, you know with no details but I think values are I mean you see uh, there are a lot of things just happening on a portrait but it's about, about the drawing, proportions, everything but sometimes I think just the likeness is in, in, in the values sometimes I feel like if I got the values pretty pretty good the likeness is gonna be easier. That's a thought, okay? And uh, that's just the feeling that the feeling that sometimes sometimes I, I have. Yeah, but obviously it's not the case for every drawing. Just comparing. Yep. 
Now I'm going to use charcoal pencil. I got this one that's medium. No, this one is medium and this one is soft. I'm going to use this, this, use this soft. You see, I'm just trying simple straight lines, and here for the iris is more about value than detail. I'm just making darker where I think are uh, the irises. Okay, and always I draw a little bit of this one and then the other one. You see that immediately I just move from one to the other. Then at the same time that I'm drawing, for example, the eyebrow, I draw the lower eyelid. I'm thinking about all the, that's happening here. And then I move to the other eye. Okay. Yeah, it looks like one eye has to be a little bit up. Okay, but the nose check out the light mints again for example the third dog is here let's say okay and checking on the photograph if I trace down a very cool axis I wanna see that the one side of the nose is here it's not perfectly aligned with the third third dog what about the other side Think about this shape, for example, that is a triangular shape. Okay, what about the mouth? It looks like just a straight line, just like that. Just gotta be sure how tilted it is. That. Yeah, obviously, it's not perfectly straight, but I'm just trying to simplify the same way that look at the nose. It's just like one line here, the other one here, the other one here, here a triangular shape. Okay. Now after I got this straight line and uh, zooming in the photograph, see with more details what's happening there. back I check out you know it looks like I'll move the photograph a little bit down it looks like I gotta narrow the face okay and maybe add more hair yeah anyway mm, okay what about the chin okay Continue.
flipping back trying to see a shape here and comparing this shape with the photograph it's the same shape yeah, I think it is what about the shape beneath the mouth below the mouth something like that Okay, I'm going to use Pastel again. Okay. Oh. Uh, you draw. Uh, and Nikki's asking me if I draw this from 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 my daughter. Oh no. Uh, uh, what I said is my daughter. She was. Uh, she was watching this series. You know, The Office. On. And. When I uh, started to watch TV. I saw that on the history on the TV and I saw a few episodes yeah, I thought that was funny and I thought yeah, I think I'm gonna draw some of the actors and when looking for photograph from, I was about to draw the boss I don't remember the name of the actor And I was when I was looking for a photograph of this the boss. Uh, you know, I saw some of photograph of this guy, and and I thought that I mean I couldn't find any, any nice photograph of the the office bo boss, and I found more nice photograph from this guy, of this guy. But you see, I'm darkening up slowly. I see the light in the nose now. If that works as a highlight, that means that all the values are good. If I see the same lights everywhere, that means I need to continue darkening up here and there. Darker. darker here, darker here.
לא, לא, לא. לא, 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 Okay. Oh, Nikki saying, Brandon is doing your challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, oh, uh, no, it's not because of that, you know, I, I'm trying, I'm just practicing drawing, but it's pretty good, you know, that, that kind of inspire, inspire even more to draw daily, yeah. I'm just forgetting to post my drawings on, you know, on the group. That was for a month, eh? Or that was just... Uh, I don't remember. It was for a month, eh? I think. I remember it was for a month. Okay, it looks like this one is gonna be a tough one. Um, I mean, speaking about the likeness. Quentin, okay, I have to darken up here, here, darken up here.
trying to get the roughness here of the cheeks. Oh, Nikki saying, oh, no, no, yes, we are doing it for a month, then I think or paint every day for a month. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, don't forget to eat, sleep, and sharpen your pencil. <laughs> Oh, John is saying, I know that a lot of people from your region not only speak speaks Portuguese, but they speak Spanish and Italian. That's why I greet you in Italian. Yeah. <laughs> check out about the lights values let's see highlights here highlight on the nose yeah that's good oh I see a light here I have to darken up a little bit here yep
see he has some eyelashes. Okay, here. Yeah. Yesterday was Father's Day here. Uh, oh, happy Father's Day to everybody, to every father out there. The thing is, I got some, you know, grilled chicken. I got some ice cream. I got some cold beers. Uh, and a couple of cigarettes just that I don't smoke the last time I, I maybe it was like 20 years ago but yesterday was you know Father's Day oh Lucas Guerra está diciéndome la sombra por lógica si la luz viene del lado donde está iluminado no tendría que estar proyectada del otro lado oh sí 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 aún me falta la luz es como frontal Y digamos una luz frontal, sí, luz frontal. Y esta luz de acá es una luz de la ventana que tiene a la izquierda. Sí, pero aún, aún este, aún me faltan más sombras. Estoy, estoy yendo lentamente porque está difícil. I was saying that the, the, the light is coming from kind of this the front light you know frontal light how do you say I mean you know the light is here you know let's say and this is the light is coming from the window but I still need to need to add more shadows Especially, I think I I, I, miss, I need to darken up the shadow on the nose and the eyebrows. Shadows here. <laughs> Not only say uh because you know the leads on the charcoal pencils they just broke inside and every time they sharpen it obviously the lead just falls out. Not only saying and now uh only well only sharpen the hard leads and not the softer grades and only on Saturday mornings if it's not raining. <laughs> Uh, oh, Nick is asking me if I protect the drawings with something. Yeah, I I was doing that. 
I gotta I got be honest, I, I stopped doing that. I got too many drawings. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, any fixity for drawing, it's gonna be perfect. Thank you, Federica. Yeah, any, any, okay, I, uh, I remember when I was a student, and not just when I was a student, I mean, even after that, uh, I, I, what I used to was this, um, it was a product for hair. Yeah, you know, for hair, for to, I don't know what's the name, sorry. But it was pretty, pretty cheap. It comes with bottle just to spray it. And that's what I used to use a lot. Okay, and then with time, obviously, uh, I started to worry more about my drawings and I started to buy a fixative from any art store. Nowadays, like, I got a lot of drawings, but I don't do anything. Just my drawings just like everywhere here on my little studio. I have to, I have to uh, do that again, but I mean, I will, obviously. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, here is spray. Spray. Spray is spray. Yeah. I have used that a lot. For a long time, looks like it was pretty nice, and but I stopped using that like twenty, maybe more than twenty years ago. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I see something wrong happening with my drawings. No, it's just like you know, I started to worry about my materials and uh. You know, well, how can I say? I started to be more professional, maybe. Shadow that shouldn't be here, a mid tone here. Okay, a little bit of light here. Light, mm.
I think I, 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 I got his face to round it on, on the, on the cheeks. Maybe I have to knock down this light. I like the volume, but I, mean, I think it just is too much. At the same time, you know, I think that's a. I could end up, could end up looking like a caricature. Oh, I was saying that yesterday was Father's Day. I got, you know, a beer, ice cream. I, I made a list, a wish list. What I couldn't get that was a coffee from the Starbucks. I couldn't make it. I was ju just running from here to there, from here to there, and I couldn't make it. That's gonna be today. Oh, Nikki saying, have you had fun with your dead Yeah, uh, oh, you're saying, I'm speaking about it, my old drawings. Yeah, yeah, I will. I want to look for so. Uh, after I move uh, to a different house, everything is, a lot of things are still in boxes. I want to look for them. All the drawings. I, I don't think I have a, like too many. Like I'm thinking about drawings, like a drawings that I did when I was a student. I used to keep a few of them. But what I have, what I have found few days ago that was a watercolor that I did when I was maybe my was that when I was a teenager yeah. oh what okay um, still thinking maybe the width of the 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 head is just uh, uh, maybe I should narrow the face yeah or it could be about adding more shadows just around the face or maybe just could be just the hair here Kind of narrow the distance from the hair to the eyebrows.
<coughs> hmm. Thinking about the whole head. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I gotta narrow the mandible here. I'm reducing the here the the cheek. I love the light here. I'm gonna keep it. Just one second. Madre, baje el volumen un poquito, porfa. saying to my mom that to put down the volume a little bit because you know she sometimes she forgets that and here <laughs> yeah, she put the volume up I gotta remind here you know Breathe nicely because she could get mad. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, what time is it? Oh, an hour. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Mm. Let's see, let's see what else, what else. Okay, um, I have to just knock down some few lights anyway, some lights here oops when I got a little bit of you know I started sweating or a little bit of oil on my fingers as soon as I put my my finger kind of wipe off the charcoal
I like those lights, that creates volume, but I need, I still need to see, you know, highlights on the face, and the only highlights that I'm caring about is the highlight on the nose and the highlight on, on top of the globella. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Petra. Nikki saying, tell her you will go, go, to, go to buy oranges for her at the market. If she doesn't get mad at you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I gotta be careful with my mom because so sometimes she just uh, she has some habits that I cannot break, yeah? like watching TV, at, like or watching a pro a program or a sub opera, at a specific hour. Yeah? I cannot do that anything at that time yeah. because that's her time. And that's 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 pretty good, you know. We all have that our own time. Enjoy to watch it, to watch TV, to relax. something that I didn't see before. There is kind of a reflected light, a shadow, and then it comes some reflected light here too. I think you're smelly, f smelly fish. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I love it. Just you know, some names just are just funny and. Uh, <coughs> I see some lights, uh, highlights on the ear. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna add those highlights. Uh, I mean, I don't want any, anything to distract it from here. I, I see that, you know, those highlights. I, we don't need that. It's just enough what, what we have here. This ear is just too dark. And it has like a funny shape that doesn't, I don't know, I mean. Mm. See a little bit of light on the hair. Okay, I think I got the expression. Eh? You're gonna say that was tough, eh. but I think it's close enough. Eh. Okay, I'm just gonna stop a bit. I'm gonna check out some comments just to rest from my drawing just a bit. Oh, Nikki saying no sweat allowed, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay. You know, scroll to see if I missed a comment here on Instagram. Oh, I got a question here. If you've already answered this question, but are you using Conte pastels? Uh, I got another. Oh, hello, Sebas. Sebastio. Yeah, I mean the pastel I'm using is um yeah I don't know to be honest uh what I remember because I got this stick from a box of twenty four colors that was Faber Castell but the thing is that <coughs> I found another box the other day and I was not not so sure if I got this from one box or the other yeah but the only thing that I know that's medium yeah for sure. Because softer pastels are really soft, really, really soft. This is not that soft, uh, and at the same time, uh, when you when I when I, I shade, you know, it's just a little bit difficult to to erase when I get to these darks. When it's softer, softer, it's easy to erase. And when it's hard, obviously, uh, it's gonna maybe, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't even remember if I have used some hard pastels, or maybe just confusing myself. Yeah, but I always, ch every time that I went to buy pastels, I, I have chosen always soft or medium, no, just that. Or maybe a hard, harder pastels doesn't exist. So sorry. Okay, I don't remember. Okay, I think that's it for today. Oh, I was thinking about the eye. Oh, I was thinking about this eye. I, I was thinking that maybe I have to move this eye a little bit to lift the iris. Or make it more rounded or, or something there. You see the eye, there's no details there, you know, but uh, not so sure. We're gonna move it anyway to the left. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for today. I'm gonna, check, I'm gonna double check. Okay, a little bit of light here on the eye. Just that. <coughs> you start looking for more things. Definitely, you're gonna find more mistakes. Yeah, uh, that, I think that's 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 pretty good for an hour. Yeah. Maybe thicker eyebrows. What do you think?
Thank you, Bastian. That's it, that's it. We've got to stop. Oh. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Take care, you all, and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay, okay, that's it. <laughs>